Hello, and today I'm at. Where's the sign? Where's the sign? There's a sign. London Euston Station, located at the very southern terminus of the West Coast Main Line, incoming at 710379 on a terminating London Overground service from Watford Junction. Passing out in the intro, you saw 35257 and 246 on the heavily delayed 1020 London North Western Railway service from London Euston to Birmingham New Street. Now the reason we're here today at London Euston is because we have a number of very special visitors um, turning up today. Um, I'll get them to explain to you those what they are when they do arrive. One will be arriving very very shortly, one of them is already here. 390049 is on an also delayed service from Manchester Piccadilly. Basically, it's an expectation if you're on the West Coast Main Line for your train to be delayed. One of our nine car sets, making a hell of a racket as it comes into the the eastern side of the station. So yes, London Euston is a station I'd never really thought of visiting before because I thought it would be one of those really annoying network rail stations that's very heavily guarded and not very easy to film at. But actually, the views here are pretty good. I haven't been told off by a member of staff yet, so let's hope it stays that way. So yes, you'll be seeing services operated by Avanti West Coast, London North Western Railway, London Overground, and maybe another operator as well, which is just around the corner. Okay, as arriving now is going to be the 1033 terminating Great Western Railway service from Reading. Yes, you heard that correct. Yep, that is indeed a Great Western Railway class 802. I believe it's 822114, which is operating driver training runs from Reading into London Euston. On diesel power. Passengers on this one. It wasn't supposed to be an empty stop move, but there are passengers on it. SSU 114 is, of course, a nine car Great Western Railway set, so it's hopefully not going to take up the whole platform for us. To be honest, I haven't got the faintest clue why GWR aren't running their class 802s into, into London Euston, but here they are. GWR class 800 at London Euston. It's an 802 strictly speaking. Now that's a photo and a half, isn't it? Where else do you get a Vanity West Coast and GWR class 800 side by side? As well, I think now it's going to be a all the Avanti the GWR services doors are opening. <laughs> if we have a look inside, 39156 is terminating in now on another Avanti West Coast service. Might have a look, see if we can have a look inside the GWR 800. This one I believe is terminating in from Manchester Piccadilly. The doors are 100% open. As I can see what appears to be a 350, oh that's a 710 departing behind, no it's, it is 350 departing behind. Couldn't quite get the number of the front set, but the rear is going to be 352.39 on a service bound for Birmingham New Street. 391.36 as well, uh, bound for Manchester Piccadilly also departing on the delayed 1033 service. Still kicking off at London Euston, so it's very busy. I 
last few ninety one three six six from Manchester Piccadilly. I wonder whether the Avanti West Coast staff here have just got their clocks running slightly slow because all the Avanti West Coast services we've seen today coming out of London Houston have all been late. See the accessible ramp is being used on the Great Western service. Spotting an hour is going to be 350-238, spotting out on a service bound for Tring, the 1054 service. We have a 350-3 at the rear. 35369. Next of those will be at Harrow and Wheelstone. As we're in Avanti West Coast service potting as well, this is 390049, which you saw um, arriving in just a few minutes ago. This is departing out on what I believe is the 1053 Avanti West Coast service bound for Manchester Piccadilly. This is one of the ones that stops at Milton Keynes along the way. That's potting out is going to be another 350. Our other interesting train, which I mentioned at the beginning, which is already here, has got its headlights on and will be ready to depart very shortly. This 350-377 along with 35405 at the rear is from 4 Birmingham New Street. Looks like Houston's about to do its weekly fire drill. Here we go, yep. With inspector sounds, please go to the control room. With inspector sounds, please go to the control room. And here comes the evacuation message. I was spotting it now. <laughs> is our next exciting service, which is going to be an Avanti West Coast Class 805. Exciting. That's the no mileage accumulation slash driver familiarisation run on the 1102 departure bound for crew as 710376 arrives in. This evacuation message is actually really annoying. Really? 390016 terminating in. Oh, we've got 
got 7.30 as well coming in. 7.30.0.10. In service, so this must be terminating in from Bletchley. Along with 7.30.0.2. My mistake, this is from Milton Keynes Central, these actually. What an exciting morning. Due to a report of emergency, all passengers must leave the station immediately. As we have the 350s that came in a moment ago departing outbound for Milton Keynes Central. 35375. I assume the GWR service has been held behind this one because this one is a slightly more important service. 35368 at the rear as well. I think we saw this one coming. But our 802 departing out in just a few moments is not going to be the last Class 80X unit that we're going to see today. Okay, our spotting out now is going to be the 1109 Great Western Railway service departing from here bound for Reading on an I assume driver training run, something like that. 802114 2114. This service runs up sort of towards Willesden and Wembley where it joins the junction to the Great Western Main Line just before acting main line on the down goods loop before continuing through Ealing Broadway and on the Great Western what appears to be fast lines down to Reading. Maybe next year we'll see GWR services going to London and Euston, you never know. Okay, I've moved over to platform 10 now. As the 11.24 London North Western Railway service to Tring is departing out now. And that's definitely a whistle from the driver there. Seven thirty zero ten at the rear. Next up for this one. As with all train services, is at Harrow and Wheelstone. As the Avanti West goes 390 departs behind. Probably on some delayed service, as usual. It's my first time seeing those 730s. They're quite nice trains inside, actually. Now I've got to try and work out what platform our next exciting move is coming on so that we don't get bowled by 390, which comes in. So you can see these 390s take up virtually the whole platform, so if you're standing on the platform and a 390 comes in, your view is completely blocked. That's a cool advantage of us, because 390s spotting, and I've moved to platform 13 now, 391.29 is spotting. It says Brett at the front, bound for Manchester Piccadilly, on the 11.33 service, next stop will be Stafford. Nameplate being City of Stockholm Trent. Our next interesting service is just around the corner. In fact, it's just waiting outside the station. It's waiting for that 390 to leave, so it should be coming in any moment now. Here it comes. Can you see that? Look what's coming in now. Oh, I think now is going to be an Avanti West Coast, or sorry, Hitachi, class 807. It's not yet in the Avanti West Coast colours. 
807002. Wow. Complete with a few members of people in orange jackets on board. This one is just a five car. Which has also come on a test run from Crew. It's still got a five Quebec head code and little plastic covers all over all the seats. So this is a brand new set. So glad we saw that. Eight oh seven double oh two. Those are going to be the brand new trains replacing the class two two ones and eventually three nineties that are in operation with Avanti West Coast on their services. So it's time for question of the video. Out of the class 805s and 807s, which units will be the ones which have diesel capability? Because Avanti West Coast is getting both 805s and 807s, which class is the one which is getting diesel capability? Now uh, speaking of 221s, oh god that's coming out on this platform, that's annoying. It's going to be terminating of Anti-West Coast Class 221 Super Voyager, coming in from Chester. It's 221108. Stench of diesel fuels here. 221-102 at the rear of this one. It's a shame that these trains are going. I really do actually quite like the interiors on these. Particularly the first class interiors. The standard class is a bit naff, I'll be honest. The Avanti livery seems to work well with so many trains. It works well on the 390, it works really well on the 221s. I really like the Avanti livery on the 221s. And the 805s that we saw earlier looks brilliant on them as well. They are starting to show their age a bit though. These are miles better than the cross country set, so I'll give them that much. Uh, I've got another class 390 arriving in on plat what must be platform 16, which is going to be 39122. Not only is everything late, but everything is coming in on the wrong platform as well. This is the 1141 delayed service from Manchester Piccadilly. I can't believe this, we've got another 805 coming in as well. Should we stay for it? 15 minutes, why not? Show you what I mean about first class on these trains. Oh, it's dark. The first class seats in these 221s are so much better than in the 390s. They're so comfortable. Huge amounts of it. It is odd being in a train that has no lighting. Sounds like the engines are off, so they're probably trying to save power. Let's get up before you get locked in the train, shall we? Or before the batteries run out of power so that the locks and the doors stop working. It'd be a shame to see these units go. That's coming in now on platform 9. As usual, it's going to be a London Overground Class 710 terminating in Fumwalk Junction. 710264. I believe platform 9 and 10 are the only platforms at used to which have third rail. You forget that the Watford DC line is third rail, don't you? Of all these overhead wires here. Might lead to another good question of the video. Question of the video, can you name well, question number of the video number two. Can you name another location? It can be anywhere in the UK 
which has both third rail and overhead power at at least one of its lines. So can you name another station in the UK which has both third rail and overhead power for at least one of its lines? Ask us in the comments below. Certainly busy with 221s today. That's coming out is going to be yet another 221 which is going to be led by 221110. We're going to the opposite side of the station. This is one of the few Birmingham New Street services which is operated by Voyagers. This one has got indeed come from Birmingham. I've never understood why they put Voyagers on these ones, unless it's for a shortage of stock, because the line between Birmingham and London is completely electrified. I'm sure they have enough 390s because they're having to keep cancelling their services. As we have a terminating London Northwestern Railway Class 350, which I believe is from Milton Keynes Central, judging by the head code, led by 35103. Cool, the next southbound service after this one is going to be our very exciting train coming next. 35260 is departing out now. Found four Milton Keynes in the opposite direction. Fifty one one four at the rear. I think the next stop of Milk and Keen services is also Harrow and Wildstone. Uh, so here it comes for what will be our final train of the day and our final class 800 of the day. It's been an 800 extravaganza today, isn't it? This is going to be Avanti West Coast Class 805, terminating in from Edge Hill Depot in Liverpool. I assume this is a free head code service actually, so I'm not sure if it's a test run or it might just be a mileage accumulation run. Again, sporting Avanti West Coast colours is going to be 805-008, I believe this one is. Get a lovely clue view of it here. Brand new, shining in the daylight. Look at that. The Avanti livery suits the, suits the 805 so well. Lovely, as that comes in from Edge Hill Depot. And with that, I just thought sums up our time here at London Euston today. It's been Quite a wonderful hour and a half. We captured a lot of action here, a lot of very interesting movements from our um, Avanti West Coast 805 to 807, so a great Western Railway 802s, and even more than that, all the junctions are switching. So, if you did enjoy this video, then do click the like button down below and do consider subscribing to the channel if you do enjoy my content. I look forward to welcoming you back to the channel soon, but until then, goodbye from me. 
and goodbye from London, Euston, as 391 departs bound for Manchester Piccadilly. I do highly recommend the station if you want to come and visit. Bye everyone.